Hello everyone and I'd like to show you another a massy and amazing attacking chess game by Alexander Morozovich this time, the legendary attacking chess grandmaster from Russia and his opponent is also a legendary player, Vasilin Topolo, who had the black pieces in this chess game. He is the Bulgarian chess legend, at one time the world chess champion. So let's see what happened in this chess game from 1994-1995 chess tournament in Spain. So this is the picture between these two. So you can see Alexander Morozovich on the left and Topolo on the right. So this is the picture that I used for commentating this chess game. Let's see what happened. Morozovich starts the game with e4 and we have the Sicilian defense checking the king, capturing and Sokolowski variation c4 and then g6 pushing the pawn charging at center capturing capturing bishop to g7 and white castled knight to c6 attacking the knight knight goes back and targeting the c pawn so for the activity not defending the pawn but developing the pieces capturing the pawn and morozovic sacrificed a pawn pushing the pawn and then pushing the pawn again developing the bishop all moves are developing if you noticed and finally black castled h3 by alexander morozovic knight back g4 charging from the king side knight in f4 attacking the knight knight goes back and then f5 rook over knight in knight back pushing the pawn so squeezing the opponent in the king side which is also a little bit risky but at the same time this is actually pretty good for white as well so knight to b4 and then knight goes back knight to c5 it looks like targeting the e pawn so defending with the rook and black is a pawn up so this is what white has to do white needs to play aggressively when he is a pawn down so this was the point this was the idea of alexander morozovich knight up and bishop to e5 and queen up queen to g4 and it looks like this is also sacrificing the b-pawn for the quick activity. This is risky chess. And Morozovic played an amazing move in this position. So it looks like the rook is under attack. Uh, what would you do? Maybe defending the rook comes to mind. Maybe exchanging the rooks comes to mind. Uh, but Morozovic sacrificed the rook. F takes on g6. What a move. Who rook takes on c4 and going all the way, accepting the rook sacrifice. The king safety has been compromised for black, moving the king to the h8, and then g6 by Morozovich. Knight to c2. Well, capturing the pawn is not a good idea. Because capturing back and forking the king and the rook, and as you can see, the king safety is getting even more compromised, and black is in big trouble. So knight to c2 and it looks like attacking the bishop uh, what would you do in this position maybe defending the bishop comes to mind but morozovic has no reverse gears he played knight to f5 not defending the bishop but moving forwards actually this is also defending the bishop but his plan is not to defend the bishop but he has a different plan in this position uh, basically he is planning to push the pawn and checkmating the black king so bishop to g7 defending uh, but if daring to capture the bishop this is going to blunder the checkmate g7 uh, one of the only moves and then getting checkmated queen takes on g7 and after g7 if king takes on h7 this is also not very good because of check and then getting checkmated so this was the idea of alexander morozovic the fierce attacker so in this position, after knight to f5, basically he is threatening to push the pawn and white's advanced pawns is looking very dangerous. So bishop to g7 and opening the file, g takes on f7. Rook takes and it is white to move. Which move is the strongest move for white? Well, Morozovic played the obvious move. He played queen to h5 and in this position he is basically not attacking the rook but threatening knight to g6 defending the pawn and threatening knight to g6 it looks like defending is not easy this is the only defense Ooh, rook to f6 
but just to illustrate that in this position if something like uh, defending the rook then getting checkmated knight to g6 and if queen to e8 some random move then knight to g6 is getting checkmated defending the h pawn and the king has no escape because of the knights because of the bishop so in this position, rook takes on h7 and queen to h5, only defense, and this is losing the exchange, queen takes on g6. But in this position, actually, a Topolov a has the knight. So, he's a piece up in this position, but threatening checkmate, so how to defend the checkmate threat? We have queen to f8. If defending like this, what would you do? It is white to move and win. So the move is knight to h6 and how to defend knight to f7, checkmate or even queen to g8. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, promoting the queen and getting checkmated. So in this position defending is not so easy, it is impossible <laughs> in fact. So capturing and defending the checkmate threat but Alexander Morozovic played the move and Vasilin Topolov resigned. What an amazing, fantastic attacking chess game by Alexander Morozovic, the fierce attacker from Russia. So did you see the move? The move is simply bishop to h6 and after this move basically there is no good defense against bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, checkmate. So in this position uh, Topolo resigned but the possible continuation is something like Bishop takes on h6 and then capturing the bishop, knight takes on h6. And how to defend attacking the queen, knight to f7 or queen to g8, checkmate. There is no defense in this position, so black can try queen to d8 and getting checkmated. This is not trying, this is just simply uh, getting checkmated. <laughs> So after knight takes on h6, there is no defense. A black can try to prolong the game just like this. Queen takes on f1, king takes on f1, check, and black has some bunch of checks. And after checking one more time, again, black is getting checkmated. Knight to f7. And in this position, you can also, if you prefer, you can also play queen to g8. And this is also going to be checkmate. What an amazing, fantastic, aggressive, attacking chess game and inspiring chess game by Alexander Morozovic. He dictated a, for the entire game a dictating, dominating chess game by Alexander Morozovic. So this is why he is one of the most legendary attacking chess players of all times, just like Mikhail Tal or Alexei Shirov. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.